Being gay and in a long-term relationship, we are considering kids. What are your thoughts about gay people raising children? Um, I think the devil's in the details, to tell you the truth. When If I was ever talking to any individuals about that, that's it, the question is, well, how would you raise them? I mean, you have problems, right? If you're both of the same sex, then you're going to have the problem of how to provide the proper model for, you know, let's say you have a boy and a girl. Um, you, we know this is indisputable, and this is something I've talked to Warren Farrell about. Kids in intact heterosexual families where the father is present do way better on multiple indices than kids who are, are part of single parent families. Now, that doesn't mean that there are no single parents who do a good job right? That's not the same bloody claim. Those are different claims. Uh, but on average, kid, not only do kids where fathers are present do better, but societies or even, even local societies where there are more fathers present do better, not only for the kids that they're fathering, but the kids in the neighborhood where there are lots of intact families with fathers do better. And so I believe quite firmly that the nuclear family is the smallest viable human unit. Father, mother, child. Smallest viable unit. And if you fragment it below that, then you end up paying. Now, that, that doesn't mean that there, are way, there aren't ways that you can operate in a smaller unit or a different unit effectively, but you have to contend with the fact that it's necessary for, for kids to have models for both sexes. And that means, that means accepting that the sexes are different, even though there's a fair overlap between them, accepting that they're different and that both sexes play their role. It looks like what fathers do, and I talked to Warren Farrell a lot about this, about what fathers do, and a lot of what they do is rough and tumble play with the kids, which kids really, really, really like. And it's really important, as Jak Panksepp, a great affective neuroscientist, laid out in his studies on rats. He discovered the play circuitry. And fathers... This is something Farrell told me, which was extraordinarily interesting, is that fathers use the joy of the possibility of play as a scaffold to help children learn to delay gratification. So imagine a father spends a bunch of time playing with his kids, and they're having a great old time. They're wrestling around and pushing each other's limits to find out where they are, and, and learning the physiological dance that goes along with direct contact, direct exciting contact, learning what hurts and what doesn't, and what constitutes fair play and what isn't, and how everybody can play and still enjoy the game, and how excited you could get before it's too much, and how much you should want and how much you shouldn't and when you can object to being hurt all of that at a deeply embodied level the kids love that they'll line up for that and Panksepp demonstrated very clearly that rats will work to play and that rats play fair and they learn to play fair because of iterated play bouts and that if you don't let juvenile male rats play then their prefrontal cortexes don't develop and they get attention deficit disorder or the equivalent in rats and then you can treat that with Ritalin and so this is all very vital material. Now, if you're going to, if, you, if you're gay, let's say, there's two, two men or two women, then you have the problem of what you're going to do for the contra-sexual um, target. And you can say, well, it doesn't matter because there's no differences between men and women. And you can gerrymander the damn question that way and avoid your moral responsibility. Or you can face it squarely and say, look, you've decided to step outside of the cultural norm and to organize a non-standard relationship, which puts a tremendous responsibility on you. And then you have to figure out how you can provide for your children what it is that they would get in the classic minimal human unit. So, and more power to you. I hope you can do a good job of it. You know, I, I think there's room in the world for, for a diverse range of approaches to complex life problems like, like having kids and finding a partner. But that doesn't mean you get to bury your head in the sand about the absolute realities of life and the fact that there are biological differences between men and women. To deny that is, is reprehensible in my estimation. I, and besides, the empirical data, the scientific data are crystal clear.